Hi Libra, welcome to Alchemist Tarot, serving tarot straight up. So now your November monthly reading, excuse me, and this is late because I'm, I'm filming this on um, November 7th, so my apologies. I'm going to pull a card for the overall month, um, advice, actions, maybe obstacles you might face, and then obviously a card for next week, the third and the fourth week. <laughs> Sorry, I know I missed this week, big time. Um, and then a card for money, career, and love, okay? So let's see what's going on for November. In Libras, we are pretty much out of Mercury retrograde, which is fabulous, because I think this one has just been a nightmare. Um, you'll definitely see lighter energy by mid next week for sure, um, but thankfully we're starting to get out of the clear of it. This one was... I have to tell you, frustrating from a technology perspective for me personally, but um, yeah, so anyway. Okay, Libra, you got the Hierophant in reverse. So I think overall energy, you're starting to re reassess your position with things. Maybe you're taking, you've taken maybe a long, taking a step back or a mental break away from, you know, the... Uh, traditions and social values and you know especially here in the states we've we've gone through a massive presidential election a lot of tensions have been high but just starting to see like what is really really important to you you know and and not everybody wants to work for let's say corporate america or to um you know want to be the CEO of a company or they need to be at a certain position at a certain age with a certain salary or be married at a certain age. I think you're really starting to kind of see what the status like you're that the status quo is just not something that really fits for you. So you're tired you're starting to assess what really is the more important things in life for you and how you want to move forward, okay? Sorry, that's been hard for me to get words out. And if you hear any background noise, my dogs are here. They wanted to hear your reading too. So This month, you know, advice and action, you got the moon card. It is all about going to have to trust your intuition and your gut, your internal compass. I don't see that every little fact or detail that you probably would like to have available is going to be shown to you. There's going to, you're going to be walking through murky waters a little bit. So you're going to have to trust your gut and it will always point you in the right direction. Okay. Obstacles. I think with the King of Cups in reverse, a lot of you are going to get or have been frustrated that you're not able to be as creative or passionate or show, you know, your real, you know, emotions with something. Maybe you've been really holding yourself back and it's been annoying. And that kind of goes into that whole maybe traditional, you know, type of work environment it does feel more work work related excuse me maybe the culture of the company is not what it what it um was sold to you and it's just changed and it's not it doesn't fit your vibration it doesn't seem like good energy anymore and it and you feel stuck and it's getting frustrating because you really just can't be who you are you know so second week next week you got page of wands this is a start of something so for a lot of you, you could be looking for a new job. You could be sending out applications. You're starting to kind of look at maybe new industries or how you can bring your expertise, you know, to an entirely different, you know, role, maybe even within the company that you're at. But you're looking at how to, you know, what are things that are going to make me happier? And you're starting to take those small steps forward, but it's starting to get you a little bit more excited. Okay. Ten of Cups in Reverse. I will tell you that this card, that maybe at home, <laughs> in your home life, whether you are, it doesn't matter if you're single or if you have a family, it doesn't really matter. Your relationships, I feel like there's been some frustrations, uneasiness in the home, where if, especially if there's other people that you live with, um, whether it's roommates, friends, family, whatever the case is, it's maybe there's arguments or are tense energy and maybe it's because it's not really more about emotional things it's more about material things I don't know but there's something that's going on in the home that feels off and it's kind of making you feel like god I don't want to go home I don't want to deal with this it feels very uneasy and that the the air is pretty thick there's a lot of tension 
fourth week, what I would tell you is that whatever you put your mind to, Virgo, I'm sorry, Libra, excuse me, sorry, whoops, slip of the tongue. Libra is that the eight of pentacles, you are going to have to put the work in. You're going to have to, you know, reskill yourself. And I'm saying this because if you are trying to jump into something new um, and kind of take a different path forward or a different approach to something, you are going to have to learn how to do that. Um, so if you're going into a new industry, you're going to have to learn the industry, the product, the service. You know, you're going to have to learn the clients. If you are trying to completely take on a new job or apply for something new, you know, you're going to have to learn the systems, you know, the, the company itself, you know, different personalities. So don't get so frustrated, Libra. You're going to feel uneasy for a little bit. You're going to have to find your way and you are going to have to put the work in to learn how to do this. Money, I think for a while that money has been um, a tense topic for a lot of you guys. And it's almost like you've been flailing, but with the Six of Swords in the upright, you're starting to move to calmer waters. Maybe there were a couple months where you know, it, you're know you trying to get rid of debt and you're really sacrificing a lot of things. Maybe you are just trying to get your finances in order. Um, you know, A lot of people through this economic downturn and just with the pandemic and everything that's going on have lost their job and finances have been very, very tight so I think now you're starting to get your you know that there's light at the end of the tunnel and you're starting to move to calmer shores and if that hasn't happened already know that it's on the horizon okay and also with this card it could mean that you are downsizing um, maybe you're you're moving into a place with less space because you don't need that much you're starting to look at where you can cut back when it comes to career high priestess in reverse, High Priestess, I, you know, there's two cards here that really talk about intuition. <laughs> and I think this is where in a career workplace, you just don't see yourself there anymore. And, or maybe you just don't believe that you're taken seriously or that you, that people disregard or overlook the value and knowledge that you bring to the table. But for whatever reason, you're starting to see where you know, you just don't fit in there anymore. It's not a cultural fit. You've outgrown that place. You know, maybe you're looking to completely change what you're doing, but whatever the case is, you're starting to make some pretty big moves here. Um, and again, things are gonna take time to, uh, to, to roll out. So don't get worked up about, you know, the timing, but I do feel if you deep down want that change and you've been kind of probed by the universe to make this change, that's probably a green light, okay? in love nine of wands <laughs> so nine of wands is definitely the not giving up card it's you know some people can call it the wounded warrior so if you guys are in a relationship you know there's probably been some pretty tough moments in your with you and your partner um you know whether communication or you know just how living situation has been it's been tough on everyone in 2020 but i do see you guys pulling through and i do see that you feel that the relationship is worth fighting for. And if you're single, I think for a lot of you realize that you are worth fighting for, you as an individual, and that you are worth, you know, a lot. And the person maybe from your past or your last relationship, if they didn't see that, that's okay. But you're not giving up on what you want. You're not settling for less, okay? So keep moving forward, Libra, because a lot of great things on the horizon for you, okay? Slow and steady, and again, Follow your intuition. Really, this month is a big one. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe so you can see more videos when they get uh, put up. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram because I pull cards there and, and you know push other information out. And then if you're interested in purchasing a reading, please go to my website. The link is in the bio. I hope you guys have a great rest of the month, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.